memorizing with associations is the fastest way to learn a lot of vocabulary in a foreign language, especially in the beginning when you don't know anything yet. And you can't really learn vocabulary in context if you don't understand any of the context. So it's extremely important uh, if you want to learn a language fast. You visualize the words, you visualize the meaning, and you create an association. And this is an extremely powerful technique to learn hundreds of, of uh, words and sentences fast so that then you can do everything else. However, some people, and I wasn't aware of this, um, I don't know absolutely everything yet. Some people uh, apparently have a condition called aphantasia or aphantasia, I don't know how, it, how to pronounce it, but they are unable to visualize things. They don't, they can't create mental images. They can't, they, they, they lack the ability to uh, imagine things, to create an actual image in their heads, which is a problem for this because um, the association technique relies 100% on that. If not on uh, mental images, then feelings uh, and the rest of your senses, right? You have to imagine uh, feelings, smells, um, heat, cold, uh, I don't know, uh, sounds as well. If you can't do that, then you can't really use this technique, uh, to my knowledge. So what to do instead? Well. You're going to be slower than people who have mastered the association technique and are using it to learn hundreds of words fast. There's no way around it. There's no, there's no way to... Like nothing can substitute the association technique because it's so effective. If you're hard working though, uh, you're disciplined and you, you stay consistent, you, you still can improve quite fast. So what I would do if I wasn't able to use association technique, and some of you also complain that you're not able to do this technique. Okay, if you've got this condition, then you, don't, you can't do this technique. You can't use this technique. But most of you, most people, and I'm not talking, to, I'm not talking about the person who, who wrote the comment, obviously not, but a lot of you say, say that you're not able to do it because just because you're not able to do it. Um, most of you haven't even tried properly. This is a skill and it's training, right? And you won't be able to do many of them the first day, but if you keep training, you get better. With For those of you who actually don't have a fantasia, yeah, it's just a matter of skill. If you show up to jujitsu, you're going to suck the first day. It doesn't mean you can't learn jujitsu. This is the same thing, yeah? You try 10 associations a day and then 20 and then 30, and, and in a couple of months, you'll be doing 100. So for those of you who are physically unable to do this uh, because you've got this condition, then the next best solution is a combination of uh, space repetition and retrieval practice. Yeah, get as many repetitions as you can and then use retrieval practice. How? Well, you write your language islands, you take your sentences, your sentences with all the all, all the grammar included, all the vocabulary list with the example sentences, and you read them aloud, you check, not aloud, sorry, you read them, you check the meaning in English, you keep reading them. Eventually later you'll read them aloud, but first you read them in the target language over and over again. And whenever there's something that you don't understand, which is going to be everything at first, you check the English translation. And you rely less and less on the English translation because every time you read the, the whole document, you'll have to, you'll have to, yeah, you'll, you'll remember more words and you'll have to check the English translation less times. It's going to be slower and you'll need, uh, you'll need to read the document more times than if you were using associations because if you use associations the first time, it's going to be much easier to remember the vocab, right? But still, if you do, if you try to go fast and do as many reps as you can, try, read the document as many times as you can, you'll improve. 
same lines again and again, yeah? And eventually, you jump from that to retrieval practice. So you instead, you start reading the sentences in English, the language islands, the grammar sentences, and the vocabulary sentences, and you translate them verbally to the target language, and then you check the original, and you self-correct when you make the mistakes. And if you do this with thousands of sentences, you can do a thousand a day. It's a, it's very hard work, but it's doable. Once you've done like 10,000 sentences, 10,000 reps of retrieval practice, you'll notice that you're able to say a lot of stuff and that you have quite an extensive active vocabulary. You're able to speak. You don't make that many mistakes because you've been constantly getting feedback um, and it will work. So if you can't visualize and associate words, the initial part is going to be much slower because you don't have, you can't learn lots of vocab fast to make everything faster, but everything else will still work. Yeah. You just have to work harder on the repetitions and the retrieval practice and that's it. Anyone can learn a language, almost anyone, unless you are, I mean, you've got some severe condition and you're not even able to speak or something or, or but if you're a healthy person, like if you can read and write and you can speak and yeah, you should be able to just by sheer number like repetitions, lots of reps, example sentences over and over again, retrieval practice over and over again, and then all the other exercises, listening and repeating all that, do everything else. It takes you longer, but if you work hard, you can still do it. 